Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting Space Engineers. Today we're gonna do some fighter reviews. Now here I have a selection of fighters that uh, you have seen before or may have not seen before. Let's go through them and uh, see what their strengths and weaknesses are and what you can do to improve your fighters or what type of star fighter you would like to do most on your style. Now, let's get our herd up and running here. Now, this is our Condor Mark II. He is a really, well, the re veteran fighter of ours. He has done many dogfights against uh, uh, Sticky and uh, so forth with our Space Engineers videos and uh, has uh, come out a couple of victories and losses, but has done uh, moderately well. Uh, she has great maneuverability, great thruster capabilities, as you can see, and great armor support. Uh, but not the best, I can also say. So she is a medium armored fighter interceptor with uh, medium armor, with light armor. Now, here I have two new fighters today. You might have seen the hamp on my third episode of Building an Empire. If not, I'll go through her again. Now... She is called the Hemp because she is called, uh, it stands for Heavily Armored Missile Platform. Granted, she has Gatling guns too, but uh, her main feature is her missiles. Now, as you can see, she's a very sleek, more aerodynamic design. She's not as wide as this one or even the Condor. Uh, which makes her much difficult, much more difficult target for Gatling guns or missiles to target. She has moderately good thrust. She's not that fast as the Condor or other fighters I've built in previous generations, but she has really good maneuverability. And uh, she can take punch because of her heavily armored nature. Now, let's... Uh, and uh, she is a bit more... She's a medium fighter because of her armor, but is a s small light fighter because of her size. Now, here we have our heavy fighter. She is a monster. She's called a heavy gunship. She's more of a gunship than a fighter, actually. As you can see, she has a moderately good maneuverability with four thrusters on each side and three large thrusters at the back. So uh, she has rather good maneuverability all around. She has no Gatling guns, but she has 10 rocket launchers, which means she's a heavy hitter in our category for top fighter. Now, the thing about her is, you want her in, say, a raid of a station, or a big fr frigate, capital ship type of class. But she lacks again, when it comes to dogfighting against smaller class interceptors, such as the Ham or the Condor Mark II. Now, these are all, she's a heavy hitter because she is heavy, uh, heavily armored, and she's rather wide. Which is also a bad thing. Yes, you can take more hits, but it also means she can be easily more hit than these other two. So uh, there is a uh, bit of a line to be drawn between the three classes of fighters that you have to choose from. But uh, I hope I helped you guys in any way I could of choosing your fighter designs more carefully in combat and other aspects of your designs. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, comment down below what you think of your of these fighter designs, if there's any improvements to be made, or any interesting facts about space engineers you would like to share. Hope to see you next time, guys. Take care and goodbye.